Hello, this is Chicho. Welcome to 420 Math. Let me give you a little tour of the site. That way you can find what you need as quickly as possible, okay? Now, the way I've set up the site is basically as an online video textbook. And the two most important sections of any textbook that you're going to come across, the, more two, the two most useful parts of any textbook you're going to come across is the table of contents and the index. The table of contents is important because it tells you how the authors were sharing the information. There's a coherent flow of thought when you go through a table of contents. Usually the uh, more introductory ideas presented at the beginning of this chapter with more complicated ideas being built on that, right? Or new, new ideas being put it on, added on to it, right? The index is important because it allows you to find what you need as quickly as possible in the book. So you look something up, you know, alphabetically, and, you know, it tells you what page you're, you need to go to, or multiple pages maybe of reference. And then from there, you go to that page and you, you know, you can see where the information is being introduced uh, in the book, right? So you can either start following the information from there on, or if the information is too complicated or you don't understand and you're missing pieces, you go further back in the book, right? That's exactly how I set up this book or this site. Now, the table of contents and the index you can find in the left-hand column is a pull-down menu system where the yellow buttons, the folders, open up to either give you more folders or pages. And the index is down here where you, you, know, you can click on it and it expands into you know, alphabetical index, right? So if there's anything specific you're looking for, you can look it up come here, find out where it is, and it'll show you the page that you're going to, okay? Now, the table of contents you can access to through the pull-down menu system here, so you can go directly to the language of mathematics, which is geared towards teaching you the syntax of the language, or you can go to math in real life, which is geared towards, you know, using the information we learned in the language of mathematics in real life, okay? Or you can go directly to the table of contents, the button up here, and you know, it'll explain to you that there's two basically main tables of contents. So let's do a little test run and go through, you know, a little example of how, how we go about finding a specific topic, right? So let's say we're looking for a video on how to multiply and divide exponents. So what we do is go to the site and go directly to the index because we don't know where that lesson, if that lesson exists or if it exists where it belongs in the book in the in the table of contents right so we would go to the index and we'd go to e for exponents open up e and we see that there's a folder here called exponents and radicals and you would click on that and there's a whole bunch of videos here on exponents and radicals i ended up doing this in series two so there's a fair bit of information there so for multiplying and dividing there's a page here multiplying dividing uh, exponents and radicals you would click on multiply and dividing and that takes you to the page that contains one of the lessons for multiplying and dividing. And they might be multiple pages uh, for a specific topic. Now the title of that page contains more information that you can use to find out where you belong on the site and where this information is contained and if there is more information on this, on this uh, topic. The title usually contains more information, more text because there's more room. And in the brackets, you see that it says it's the language of mathematics, so you know that this video belongs to the, uh, the language of mathematics series. And the series that it belongs to is series number two. The Roman numerals here tell you which series you're in or which chapter you're in, if you want to think about it that way, right? So in the pull-down menu, we can go about and find out exactly where this, this is. You can go language of mathematics, right? Series two, so you click on series two, open that up, and you can see there's an exponents or radicals section here. So you can click on exponents or radicals and see the multiplying and dividing videos, right? And see where it belongs in, you know, the, the, the train of thought that's being presented, right? So if this doesn't make sense to you, what you do is you move up the menu to more simpler concepts or the introductory concepts and then work your way towards this. If this makes sense to you, then you can continue the f train of thought further down the chapter and just go through more complicated information being added on, right? Or new concepts being added on. There's one other thing here in the video, in the titles, which is important, which is the video number. Now, the video number is important because sometimes when I'm in certain videos, I reference uh, different videos, you know, something that we've said, we've covered before, or it works with this. And that is the video that's popping up 
um, the, the, the number that's popping up in the videos. And the way you can find out you know where that belongs in a series is you can most videos are going to have you know a little hyper hype you know link here for the table of contents or you can go to the table of contents and we're in the language of mathematics and go to video number 46 find out where it belongs so you can go to table of contents and this will take you directly to you know the table of contents for the language of mathematics and we're looking for video number 46 so what you can do is just scroll down and find out where it is and that's where video 46 is and again that's in series 2 and those are all the links to all the videos that they are right so this is sort of a mirror of the pull down menu that we have in the left hand column of the site okay and that's how you find uh, things there's a lot of a lot of other links but you know everything being linked together so you can navigate yourself through things fairly easy uh, move around and you know from one thought to another and you know optimize the time that you're spending on here so just uh, just so you enjoy the experience more okay and that's basically how the information is laid out here and I'm gonna be at this for a while and there's gonna be a lot more information coming along and uh, you know we're gonna build enough content here to you know, provide an introductory series on calculus and one for uh, probability and statistics because those are the two most important things you progress into when you go into mathematics, into higher level mathematics anyway. Okay, that's what we're working towards. Um, and that's about it. I hope you enjoy your stay here. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, you know, send me a message and um, I'll try to, uh, you know, help you out uh, as best as I can. Bye for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.